Parker. Triple stars to rolling around in pink Barbie cars. You better recognize who we are. Million dollar, soon to be national stoke director Robin Barnwell. That's my name. And I'm the coldest director in the game and building leaders is my claim to fame. I'm so excited that you guys decided to hop on here with me just for a moment. I don't take that lightly at all. So let me just tell you personally who I am. I am a wife of 21 years, happily married to my husband, Keith Barnwell. He is an entrepreneur. He is also pastor of our church as well. So I'm first lady, minister of music, music, praise and worship leader, a servant leader. I love the children. And God has definitely called me to women. Yes. And so I'm also a mother. So all the mothers in the house and the wives, go ahead, just type it out in the chat. We're going we're gonna to have some inter interaction here tonight. Wake up, wake up. Because <laughs> I'm bringing the energy, as you can see. And so all the wives, if you're a wife and you can identify with that, or you're a mother, I have three daughters. Get ready for this. I have a 29-year-old. Let me lean on in close. Somebody just say shut up. <laughs> so I have a an 18-year-old, and then I have an 11-year-old as well. I'm a grandmother, yes, a grandmother of two grandsons. I finally got my boys. So I have a three-year-old grandson, and then I have a one-year-old grandson as well. I'm multi-passionate, you guys. I love music. I love music. I'm a songwriter. I play the keys, um, the piano as well. And I'm in the process of writing a book, and I have another business too. And Mary Kay, 100% funded that business. Okay, so that's me personally. Graduated from Baldwin Wallace College worked in corporate America for 18 and a half years. So let me just take you a, a little bit back um, along that journey of being a college student with a dream to be in broadcasting. Yes, on the television, you know, on the radio as well. And I did some internships and I came out and it just wasn't paying that much. <laughs> you know, at the time I was a single mother. And so I need it to be able to make a certain level of income. So at that point, I ended up at the phone company. I ended up at the phone company, entry level, and I worked my way up to the executive level after being there for 12 years. And at the phone company, I experienced a lot. And I will tell you that I grew a whole lot. So I'm thankful for the journey. But let me just say this, it was crazy, y'all, okay? Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, crazy. <laughs> and so then I went to a Key Bank corporate office and was promoted twice after two months and then again uh, promoted after two years. And I handled the employee engagement. You know, we spent a lot of time at work, so I made it fun. I made it fun. New uh, tra new higher training and orientation, all of the fun stuff, all of the continuing education as well. And I love what I, what I did because I love people. But let me just tell you about this 18 and a half journey working for someone else. I had not one, not two, but I had three positions eliminated due to mergers. Yes, as I watched though, some of my colleagues keep their positions and they did not have the degree. They did not have the experience that I had. So I felt like what, a number. And I felt like they did not know my worth. They did not know my value. And I knew that no one could give me that but myself. So I made a decision at that time after three positions being eliminated. Can I tell you that I was a high performer? Can I tell you that whatever I do, it gets all of me? all of me and I was carrying work home I was stressed some of you can relate to this if you can go ahead and put it in the chat I was I was stressed it was impacting my time with my family and it was all I was running to the emergency room with migraine headaches that were appearing like strokes hemiplegic very rare and debilitating high performer 
However, I became a number. And so the third time that happened, let me just tell y'all what I said. Y'all want to know what I said? Do y'all want to know? Okay. I said, enough is enough. I'm getting ready to work harder for myself than I have for anybody else. I'm getting ready to take these stumbling blocks and I'm going to turn them into stepping stones. And that's exactly what I did. So let's fast forward eight years from now. I have been loving Loving, can I tell y'all, loving what I do in my Mary Kay business. And so out of 4 million in the company in unit retail sales of 2021, who are you looking at? Number 31. Yes, we made history. We made history in the company with the most million dollar sales directors. We made history as well as the 20th African-American million dollar sales director, the number three in my national area of 33 years and in the state of Ohio, the first African-American million dollar sales directors. I love to keep down a door. I love to break belief barriers, to let other women know that they can have it too and that they deserve to have it. Let me tell you, that I have earned a total of seven career cards in eight years. And in our time as Precious Family, 14, 14 career cards earned. So not only do I earn them myself, but I show other people how to do it too. Now, my husband and I, we did the math on that. $33,000 we've saved in eight years by not having that car note. So, I love to drive free. I drive a pink Cadillac XT6, fully loaded, three rows. And it is a trophy on wheels. It is a trophy on wheels. All right, let's talk about this decision. Somebody today invited you on here because they saw something in you that perhaps maybe you may not see in yourself. Maybe they, they saw the potential they can see you being successful as an entrepreneur, an independent beauty consultant with Mary Kay. So thank them. Thank whoever it is. Blow the chat up and just say thank you for thinking of me. Thank you for invi inviting me because I want to tell you that this has been life changing for me. This decision that you're getting ready to make today is a $30 decision. I like to put that up front. I just do. I like to put it up front. It's a $30 decision, but it is a life changing decision. And I'm going to tell you tonight exactly why it's life changing. So here's one of the questions that I'm going to ask you. And I'm not going to ask, you don't have to put this in the chat, <laughs> but do you have $30? And if you don't, is enough enough? Is enough enough if you can't? Put your hands on $30. And I know you work hard. I know you work hard. So there are four things. There are four benefits I want to talk to you about tonight. There's so many, so many in Mary Kay. We'd be on here all night long. But I'm going to share four benefits with you. Number one is increased income. If you're looking for increased income, let me tell you about mine. I get to decide my paycheck. I remember working in corporate America they determined how much I made. They even determined the little tiny raise that they wanted to give me or not give me, okay? But now I'm in control of it being my own boss. I get to decide my paycheck. I get to strategize what I need. If I need some additional income for, you know, my daughters, you know, they're, they're just fancy, okay? They're super duper fabulous. I'm planning two birthday parties right now for them, okay? So if I need additional income, I could not go to Key Bank or AT&T and say to them, listen, Kaya is getting ready to go away and we, we need this, we need this money. It's not going to happen, but in Mary Kay, I can strategize it. So let me just tell you that June 2021, I received a love check. I call it a love check. We get one of those on the 15th of every single month. And this one was my highest. Are you ready for the drum roll me, drum roll me, drum roll me? Come on, y'all. Over $58,000. Okay. 
let me share. I remember when I did not make 58,000 in a year. Some of you are right where I was and you worked hard and you didn't make it. I remember when I did make the 58,000 in a year. And remember what I just shared with you, all of the craziness that I was going through, discrimination, hostile environment, all of that. And now this is something that I am creating in one month. And that had nothing to do with my customers. On top of that, my customer sales was over 5,000 in retail that month. And Mary Kay is so generous. Can you just type 50% profit? 50% profit. It is so generous. I was able to put that in my pocket. Well, this 58,000 allowed me to send Kaya, my 18 year old, to Ursuline Nursing College. Oh, it's known all over the United States. And she just completed her first year. Unlike me, Kaya never has to worry about a student loan. So many of the other students did not continue their second year because they could not afford it and their parents could not afford it. And they had to go to community college. Nothing wrong with it. However, my children will have the best of the best. And so she, she doesn't have that burden. She doesn't have that stress. Why? Because of the choice that I made to say yes to my Mary Kay business. Sanaya, my 11 year old, she won't ever have to worry about a student loan either. And so it gives me choices, choices that I'm able to make different for my family, for my husband, for my children, um, my entire family, my nieces and nephews, y'all, I'm so crazy about them and I love just to spoil them. I love to invest time, energy, and I love to invest money in them as well. In my community, as well as my church, in causes that are near and dear to my heart. My husband's a pastor. If anybody knows anything about ministry, Mondays is hard when you are a bivocational, <laughs> right? Extremely. Well, guess what? He hasn't worked a Monday in five years. You want to know why? Because I said, honey, how much do you make on Monday? And he told me, and I said, okay. And then I got my pen out and I got my paper. And then I started strategizing and I came up with a strategy and I worked that strategy and I create in my Mary Kay business what my husband makes every single Monday. Okay, and I am going to be bringing him home. I heard somebody early on one of the calls said, bring a brother home program. Yep, I'm in that. We may ain't come home from jail. Nah, -uh. but he's coming home. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, the, but he's an entrepreneur. And so I'm so excited in 2023 to be able to do just that. I work my business from home primarily since we've been in a pandemic and I haven't quite transitioned out all of that history. Do you understand? It was made right from the house right behind this computer, right behind FaceTime, not leaving the house. Y'all know gas is crazy, right? <laughs> so you have choices. You can do things in person. And I love people and I truly do miss my interaction. Great evening, everybody. Hang tight. Robin's coming back in here. I know you want to finish. I know you want to hear what she has to say. So hold on. Hang tight.
All right, you guys, I'm communicating with her now. She'll be back in. Just give her just one second. She's logging right back in. I'm back. Okay. Thank you for staying. See, Zoom doesn't want me to be great tonight. <laughs> it doesn't want me to be great. But what I was saying to you is that it just does not take all day to win in Mary Kay. We are busy women. How we get the things done that we're doing, I have no idea. I really don't, you know, but we make a way, we find a way, and we also figure it out. Okay. Let's talk about this freedom and flexibility. Sanaya, Sanaya, virtual homeschool. So many parents had to decide what they were doing with their children. They were deciding between their job or their children. And that's why 2.2 million women either left the workforce or, you know, or were fired from the workforce uh, during the past two years. But you got freedom and flexibility. I will never forget when my grandmother became sick and my grandmother, oh my goodness, my heart, y'all, my heart. And um, everybody else was punching the clock, but guess what? I was there, I was there at the hospital when they moved her to another hospital, another facility. When she was in hospice, I was there. I was able to be her advocate. I was able to be there. I worked my business right from the hospital. You can work this business from wherever. It doesn't matter where you're out of the country, another state, it, even the hospital bed. I'll tell you about that as well. Freedom and flexibility to work your business because you're not punching anybody else's clock. You're on your own time and you're on your at your own pace as well. Personal growth and development. The woman you're looking at today, listen, executive for two Fortune 500 companies, I think my confidence was high. But my husband looked at me one day, he said, Robin, you are through the roof. Because every win takes you higher. And when you're surrounded by this sisterhood that's sincere and that's real, and we've got each other's back, and we want to see each other win. No motives, but it's all about no sister left behind. I've never been in an environment, y'all, where everybody shares everything for you to succeed. But we bring our God-given gifts to the table and we sharpen each other and we make each other better. And let me tell you about positive relationships. Positive relationships, it's nothing like it. It's nothing like having sisters all over the United States. Somebody to pick you up from the airport, somebody to take you to dinner, someplace to lay your head. You know, and our sisters, we're all different. Each and every one of us. We're able to be unapologetically who God created us to be. You know, when you work for somebody else, you got to conform, you got to conform. They, they'd be like, Robin, you too loud. Robin, you too excited. Robin, you got too much. Guess what? I can do all of that. I can be who I am because this is how God has made me. So what do you need? Do you need the increased income? Because I share four things with you. And if you need one of them, you can have it. You don't have to wait. You can have it by making a decision. So do you need number one, increased income? Do you need freedom and flexibility? I think everybody need increased income, right? We're in an infl inflation, is going into a recession, right? Great resonate, Every, everybody. Number three, personal growth and development. Number four, positive relationships with positive women in an environment that is gonna sharpen you and bring out the best you. When I tell you that this is a life changing decision, it truly is. It truly has been just that for me. So now it's time for you to make a decision. It's time, a strong person is decisive. A strong person is decisive. So. When you don't make a decision, you've really made a decision. You know that, right? You made a decision. So it's time to make a decision. See what is on the other side of 
Yes. Because we already know what's in the know. What's in the know is you stay the same. You stay the same. You don't change, you don't increase, you don't grow. For me, staying the same is the new failure. I've got to always, I've got to always grow. I have to always become better and be the best that I can be. I can't be stuck. You know, and I want to be the best that I can be for other people as well. So it's a $30 decision. And let me tell you what you get with that. You get an e-start. And the e-start is going to be your personalized website so that people can shop with you online from all over the United States once you're active. And then it's also going to be your merchant processing system so you can swipe those credit card payments that are on the way for you. And in addition to that, you get your back office. And your back office is everything you need. The majority of the time when you're an entrepreneur, you got to figure it all out and you're on your own. No, you're in this business for yourself, but you are not by yourself. You don't have to figure it out. The company has set you up for success. State of the art apps, the tools, the resources, everything, all the way down to your social media posts, you are set up to win. And in addition to the company setting you up, the person that invited you today is ready, ready to mentor you, ready to be able to connect you as well. So we are truly, truly, truly the best sisterhood. And I got biological sisters and I love them when we got each other's back. This is big, this is why, and this is so, so very deep. You may be listening to me right now and saying, you know what, I need to think about it. I really do, I need to think. And my question to you would be, what do you need to think about? What exactly do you need to think about? Because you're on the outside thinking of what what would it be like? It's probably gonna take me too much time. I'm probably not gonna have the people. Here's the thing, you won't know. You won't know until you try it. Get out of fear and walk in faith. Fear, false evidence appearing real. We're gonna walk in faith. We're gonna take a step forward in faith and watch God move on your behalf. It's just like going into your favorite store. What is that? Blow the chat up and tell me. What is your favorite store? I know mine. <laughs> You walk into that favorite store and you see this beautiful dress and it's the color, it's your perp, it's your favorite color. It's your style. You love the material as well. You go touch it, you go feel it. You might even take it off of the rat, lay it up against you. You might even go to the mirror and lay it up against you, but you will never ever know. Nordstrom's, Macy's, yes, you will never know how it really fits you until you take it home and you try it on. You don't have anything to lose, but you do have a whole lot to gain. You've got a whole lot waiting for you, if you want it, if you want it. So make a decision today with the person that invited you. You deserve it, you're worth it. Give yourself a try. If you don't do something different, you're gonna find yourself in the exact same place that you've always been. So are you sick and tired? Is enough enough? Do you want more? Does your family, your children, your grandchildren, your community, do they deserve more? And if your answer to that is yes, then what I want you guys to do is let the person that invited you know that you were here today and you are going to text them the word legacy. Text them the word legacy to let them know that you were here. But let's be decisive, decisive women, decisive leaders, and make a decision today, a yes, or make a decision a no, or perhaps you may need some more information. Maybe you just got a couple questions. You got a couple more questions, that's all. And the person that invited you or either her director 
will be able to answer those questions for you tonight. But don't wait, don't delay, don't procrastinate. It's time to change your life. I love you guys so much. And I just want to say thank you. I really appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. And I look forward to going to the tip of the top with all of you. Bye.